Hello, and welcome to today's history lesson. Today, we are going to be talking about King James. Now, when you hear about a ruler, most of us just assume that they rule one nation. James, however, was ruler of not one, but two countries. Young James could barely even remember his mother because he had been raised by his tutor. His tutor was a Scottish man named George Buchanan. George taught him many things. James learned Latin, Greek, Protestant theology, philosophy, and most importantly, that a ruler needs to listen to his people because they are the ones that give him the throne. By the time James was a young man, he knew that he didn't want to apply George's ideas to the way he ruled. As James thought about it, he came to the conclusion that the title ruler did not come from the people, but God. So he therefore thought that he had divine right to rule in whichever way he pleased. He started writing a book titled, The True Law of Free Monarchies. In this he wrote that the king is the master. James used this style of ruling for 20 years and then in 1603, James' relative, who was Queen of England, died. Elizabeth, with no heirs of her own, decided to let James be King of England. Just like that, James was King of Scotland and of England. James traveled to England for his coronation, and he couldn't help but notice how much nicer it was compared to Scotland. James was excitedly making preparations for his coronation when all of a sudden, a horrible disease swept throughout the land. Thousands of people died each week. The disease was called the Black Death. James reluctantly canceled his big plans, and he and his wife went to Westminster Abbey to be crowned king and queen. This disappointment was only the beginning of trouble. James got himself in a lot of trouble. He became enemies of Parliament, Protestants, and Catholics. You see, there were three different Christian groups. One group was Protestant, and they were called Anglicans. Then there were Catholics, and another group of Protestants called Puritans. All three groups expected different things from James. He angered both the Puritans and the Catholics. Two Catholics were so fed up that they decided to put a stop to this. Their names were Guy Foxes and Roberts Catsby. They were planning to get rid of James and the Protestants. So they set into action and bought a house next door to the building where Parliament met. With a total of 13 men, they set to work digging a tunnel that led from the basement of their house to the building next door. They were planning to fill the tunnel with thousands of explosives. They would blow the tunnel when Parliament was having another meeting. Unfortunately for them, their tunnel filled up with water, and so they had to bring the explosives inside the building. Hours before the explosion was to happen, Guy Fox's plan was foiled as he was discovered down in the cellar holding a match. He confessed and was put to death. To this day, people in England celebrate Fox's arrest on November 5th. They wear masks and have a big celebration. Even though Guy Foxes was gone, James was still in trouble. Everyone was angry at him. Whenever people complained about James, he just told them that it was God's will that he ruled and that he could do whatever he wanted. He decided he didn't need Parliament's help and therefore sent them home. While James made several mistakes, the main thing he is known for is good. He had 54 scholars translate the Bible into the King James Version so that Catholics and Protestants alike could study God's Word with the same Bible. Well, that wraps up our presentation on King James. We hope you enjoyed this skit. See you next time.